Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I wanted to take a little time to talk about a piece of advice that I received when I was in art school and one that I still see circulating online all the time and that is to uh, get a sketchbook and bring it with you everywhere and draw what you see around you and just draw all the time from a sketchbook and just have it be this like uh, third arm that's always attached to you and uh, yeah, so basically use a sketchbook. And I really never had much luck with this model myself. It never really worked out all that well for me. So um, I guess I am also kind of confessing that I don't use a sketchbook. And I did when I was in art school. That was really the only time that I did. But since then, uh, before then, and since then, I never really have. And um, I used to be like really kind of embarrassed about that and feel like there, there was something wrong with me as an artist and that it was this like big thing that I needed to keep a secret and I don't know if anybody resonates with that or, or if that just sounds ridiculous but that was how I felt and yeah so I wanted to talk today about why uh, I don't use a sketchbook and how that has worked out for me so yeah when I was younger I like younger way younger like when I was in a kid in, in middle school um, I would compulsively buy sketchbooks or people would give them to me because I always loved to draw when I like some of my earliest favorite things to do were drawing and coloring and all of that so um, even from a young age I was interested in that so people would give me sketchbooks or I would buy them and um, I always had like this sense of oh this beautiful book and I'm gonna fill it with all these things and it just had this like sense of promise and I couldn't wait to do it and I would feel the same way that I felt about journals which was like a little bit of trepidation and fear about starting it and uh, I usually would and I would get anywhere from like sometimes only one page or you know maybe 10 pages out of 100 um, and then I would stop using it so I had just tons and tons of partially full sketchbooks lying around and that was how um, how I approached it all the way up uh, until I was in art school and then in art school I had to use one <laughs> and um, some classes in particular that was like kind of an ongoing assignment was that you had to bring in your sketchbook every week and show what you had done and how many pages and all of that so um, I had like uh, for the first time I had a reason that I had to be using it and um, in art school uh, even though I was doing that I never felt like I my my best work and not even my best work but like my best learning it never came from what was in the sketchbook it always came from what I was the bigger pieces that I was working on and at the time I still felt bad about that I still felt like oh I'm not really I'm not really getting into the sketchbook this isn't something that connects for me and, and even people artist friends that I knew really well like my sister who is um, who has appeared on this channel before and who is an amazing illustrator and tattoo artist I will put her Instagram on the screen and in the description box uh, she was huge into a sketchbook and she always brought it around with her and she was constantly sketching and doodling and she just really caught a lot out of it and she loved it um, so I continued to feel like it was this yeah problem for me and a bad thing in my life as an artist and after I graduated from art school I feel like I kind of took that that feeling of um, of trepidation in approaching projects like in approaching a sketchbook I took that to the next level and I would just have um, I had so many ideas and concepts that I would come up with and I would initially like get par part way into them and then I would give up and it kept like shrinking like the the amount of work that I would do on these ideas kept shrinking and shrinking and shrinking until eventually I was just like doing a little doodle of them in my sketchbook and and it would never go beyond that I would just I would have a concept and then for whatever reason I would just tear it apart and figure out reasons that I couldn't do it or that uh, it wouldn't work or that it would look stupid or whatever so uh, and then after that I've talked about this in my art autobiography but um, I went through my dry spell as an artist where I wasn't making any work for a, a couple of years and there were uh, there were other factors to do with 
there were other factors that caused that. It wasn't just like, oh, I'm, I'm really feeling stuck as an artist. I also was dealing with a lot of health stuff. Um, but yeah, I had this period where I just wasn't making any work at all. No sketchbook, no finished work, no, uh, no nothing. It was, it was just no work at all. When I came through that, I knew that I didn't want to go back to that pattern of like having an idea or having a concept and then just like killing it with my brain before it could even become anything. And for me, I really connected that with having a pattern of making partial or unfinished work. So I purposely didn't want to go back to a sketchbook because for me it felt like that would just feed that pattern of having an idea, developing it a little bit, and then not going anywhere with it. So when I came through that dry spell and decided to start making work again, um, I set for myself this goal that I was going to do a finished drawing, uh, mixed media painting uh, every single day for a year. This was in 2012, I think. And um, yeah, so I had that goal purposely to kind of cut myself off from that old pattern of like coming up with ideas and then not letting them go anywhere. And looking back now, that is actually kind of similar to what a lot of folks will do with a sketchbook. They'll just use it for daily drawing. But for me, I really needed to think about it, think about these things as finished works that I was going to start and end and uh, not let myself give up on things or throw them out because I didn't think they were good enough. And I purposely wanted to do that over and over and over again so that I could have some distance from from that pattern which for me felt like really destructive to um to my life as an artist now as time has gone on and i've gotten much more comfortable with my creative process and how it is that i make work both emotionally and technically and the things that i do to make that happen I've realized that as an artist, I'm somebody that really values being able to put a lot of time into the things that I make. So I don't really, um, I don't really connect with that mode. And that's not to, this, this isn't to say that there's anything wrong with this. There are plenty of incredible artists that do this really well and they get a lot out of this. I um, have never really connected with that mode of just like spending five minutes on something and then moving on to something else or doing a two minute sketch or a 10 minute this or that. Like I've never really um, gotten much out of that. Uh, for me, I feel like most of my, and, it, and that's also not to say that I wouldn't do that in the future. Maybe I would, but, but to this point I've gotten, uh, the most, um, I've covered the most ground as an artist and I have, uh, had the most creative breakthroughs when I've really been investing time in, in the same drawing or the same piece for several sessions and am able to kind of push over that, um, that hump, that stuck feeling. And also since my work isn't really conceptual, you know, even when I do editorial work, it's not dealing with so much with concepts or ideas. I'm usually con contacted by the client because they want somebody to just do a, yeah, something that looks fairly realistic. Um, and uh, I think that conceptual artists need a lot more of that open-ended sketchbook time to sort of hash out ideas and think through how they're gonna communicate a particular concept. But for me, that's not really a part of the process. Uh, now, that's not to say that I never make sketches and especially as, um, I guess actually both as in personal work and in commercial work, uh, I, I do need that sketch time, but that is mostly for figuring out technical things like the uh, the composition and sometimes I'll do um, some experiments with color as well but I more use that like uh, the way that you might think of a steady rather than exclusively as sketchbook time and I do them like on loose paper or actually more often now I do them on my iPad on my iPad Pro so even years later now I still don't carry a sketchbook around with me and I'm honestly not sure if I ever will just because that's not really the way that I approach things and while I am a big proponent of trying to draw every day uh, even if you only have a few minutes even if you only have five or ten minutes for me um, I want to be honest and say that what that looks like isn't like oh I'm doing a quick sketch in my sketchbook it's usually that I have a piece that I'm coming back to kind of day after day and um, even if I'm really busy with client work 
I will try to have ongoing personal projects that I can kind of plug into and do even if I only have a few minutes. And I feel like for me, there's a lot more value in that. And I, I, um, I feel like I can get that sense of flow more from plugging back into to ongoing work that I'm that I'm continuing investing in over a period of days and hours and all of that, rather than just doing five minute or 10 minute or two minute sketches or whatever. So the takeaway and what I'm hoping to communicate to you guys is that the most important thing is that you draw a lot. And whether you do that by taking a sketchbook in your backpack and going on public transit and doing tons of little two minute uh, portraits or um, sitting on the couch and doodling in your sketchbook and making patterns and drawing the same thing over and over again, or whether it's like me by doing um, a series of more finished pieces, pieces that you invest um, hours rather than minutes in. Uh, any of those is okay as long as you are drawing. So hopefully you feel encouraged and excited to either pick up your sketchbook if you're the type of artist that does use a sketchbook or keep working on that piece that you've been investing your time in for the last week. Either way, there is no one right one right way to do art. So um, yeah, be encouraged and go out there and make the stuff. And thank you for watching this video. If you liked it, please do let me know. Uh, hit the like button, subscribe, and uh, leave a comment. And uh, that is it. Thank you again for watching, and I hope you have a great week. I will see you in the next video. Bye.